this is probably the phase where, where, where a company faces most of its challenges. And, and this, is, this is also the reason why the mortality rate is very high uh, in, in, in early ventures, right? Um, I would say uh, governance as first. This is the, 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 the biggest one. How do we get the right people on board? Um, how do we, how does an entrepreneur, a founder, the one that has the idea, identify the right partners, external or employees, internal or uh, investors at the, at the same time? It's not all about getting the money, it's also getting the right investor on board. So governance is the number one issue. Um, I feel that what I always say, the, the, the second one is, is the, the, the access to market. Uh, there's practically everything out there today, mm -hmm. uh, already. So in order to be able to penetrate and, and get, the, get into the market with the product or the service that you have or the investment strategy, if you're a fund manager, for example, uh, then, then you need, you need to, to put a lot of effort. So those are the main two challenges that I would identify for, for early ventures and early entrepreneurs. So impact businesses have all the challenges that early ventures have. And on top of that, they also need to convince on impact. Mm. Uh, they need to have the process, they need to have the metrics, they need to have the strategy of how to uh, generate, uh, report, monitor. Um, all, all, these I all these aspects on the impact side uh, are another additional challenge. They need additional capacities, they need additional knowledge. So probably they have it a little bit more difficult. So first of all, I think that uh, fundraising should be an integral part of, of, of uh, a company's strategy. It's not a one-off, it's a continuous process. Um, you have to embed it in, in your overall strategy. Uh, the, the absolute priority is to, to, do, to, to, have, to be very well prepared. So you have to have a very good preparation uh, before you go to any investor. First of all, you have to identify the investors. Uh, secondly, you need to have done your homework. Um, and at the end of the day, you need to convince as a person, as a, as a team, uh, you need to be inspiring. Um, you need to, to, uh, to communicate the comfort level uh, to the investors by showing that you're an expert and you have touched on all the possible answers to his question. Mm -hmm. So good preparation is the magic word here, I, I feel, and, and good planning. So you need to do it professionally. I think it's, it's all about people and product mm -hmm. or service. Mm -hmm. um, I feel that highly skilled people with a good product can literally do anything. Uh, that's where it starts. So I would focus on these two items as, as an investor anyhow. It is a gut feeling at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and this comes only with long experience. You have to have seen a lot. You have to have heard a lot. And then for over time you develop that skill of maybe knowing we don't investors don't know everything at once at the beginning uh, that that a venture has a little bit more potential than than others out there but i think it, it, it links again to people and chemistry to a certain degree uh, so those are soft factors um, equally again i'm very technical and i'm a very very big supporter of of uh, of, of good preparation mm -hmm. and good documentation and uh, and think about it nowadays Today's entrepreneurs have that uh, magic uh, 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 advantage, if you wish, of having the internet and having so plenty and limitless resources on anything, on other ventures, on, on how to put together their documentation. They can, they can attend webinars online. Um, so this, this is something, for example, that the, the entrepreneurs of the 80s or the 70s didn't have, or even the 90s. Um, so I think it's inexcusable for a team or an entrepreneur or founder uh, to come unprepared to an investor uh, or, or even if you disconnect it for, for, from, from the capital providers uh, to not have done the, the, the homework, not have done the business plan and have touched on all the uh, potential risks and aspects that a new venture uh, will face eventually. I'm Kostis Tselenis, I'm a senior investment professional with a focus on sustainability and impact investing.